I am Miss Willow, and today I am going to be playing another episode of Willow's Meadow in Minecraft, modded Minecraft. Last time I had, maybe the time before, recently I had collected a wonderful creature, if I could find wherever he is, that would be very helpful. <laughs> um, I had a hippogriff named Hickory. But somehow Hickory's not here. I don't know why. I think I flew back here, but I don't know why. <laughs> we'll have to find out. I wonder if something glitched. It doesn't seem like anything's wrong, but how is everybody's day going? I am very excited to play this game today while I have some time. So where's Hickory? Where's my hippogriff? It's probably somewhere. Hmm. Do I have my cockatrice in here? That is a question. And let me just make sure that my music um, that's playing the... It's called Lexicon or Lexicon. It's a wonderful song. I'll have to look at who it's by, but it's... I love it. <laughs> and I think it fits this theme. Let me make sure the music is not oh, drowning out my voice. And I think it fits this theme. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wait, wait, I think I have the pronunciation of your name correctly now. Josue. Is that it? Oh, but yes, my cockatrice is here, so it's not- a, it doesn't seem to be a glitch with ice and fire. Let me know if that's the correct pronunciation. I watched the video. <laughs> but let me see, I- I must have died and left- and it left my hippogriff somewhere else. So I need to find that because I'm a little bit concerned why he's not showing up. He could be over near the garden. But hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Looks like a lot of people joined today. Hello, everybody. Hope we have a beautiful, wonderful time enjoying this video and having fun in the chat. Hello, Indo. Hello, Object. Hello, Eric. Hello, um, ah, Josue. Um, and anybody else? No, I think that's it. Hello! Or at least those are the people who wrote in. Last time we went to the nether and I got caught on fire. A flower set me on fire. I got caught on fire, fire by a flower. And I think I have it in my inventory. No, I don't. There's like these flame flowers. Right now, if I'm just walking around aimlessly, I'm trying very hard to find my hippogriff. You don't remember seeing me dying in the last episode? Yeah, I was wondering, because I could have played it afterwards. That's a thing. I do play this world sometimes off stream, as anyone does. <laughs> but I don't remember dying either. So I, I looked for the cockatrice, because that's another mob from the Ice and Fire. And he's still there. So I doubt it's a glitch with that. Josue, episode... I get it. Okay. And I saw your thing about like the geode and the j, not the like kind of like a j but g as well. All right, where is my hippogriff? <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Hold on, everybody. I will be right back. I'm going to go boop with the screen. <gasps> it disappeared. It disappeared. Hold on. It disappeared. Oh, why do the hippogriffs always vanish? I wonder why. Yeah, let me see. Let me actually <laughs> wonder what's up with this. I'm gonna load the thing again. And you guys just sit, just sit tight, just sit tight. Just hold on, trust me. Also, I wanna show you, for the fall season, I have gotten myself a beautiful um, barrel mug. So. I've been eyeing this one for a long time. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the metal. I love I love how it looks. It really suits the fall theme and like picking apples, collecting apples. I love it. Is this in is it in the is it in the frame right? Can you guys see my awesome cup? <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. The thing's back. The thing's back. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. There we go. Here it is. Let me see. No, no hippogriff. He must be somewhere. It must be somewhere. 
You know, I love my new mug. It's epic. Only people without taste don't like it. That's what I've got to say. <laughs> or without that awesome taste. There's lots of tastes. But mine's pretty good. If you can't see it, I feel sorry. <laughs> but I have a hippogriff to find. He should be somewhere. I am very lost. No, I'm not lost. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. But I don't remember where I put my hippogriff. So maybe this episode I am going to have to go and find something else. Go and explore. Maybe I'll have to find another hippogriff. Something silly. Something like that. And it's going to be interesting. So bear with me. Bear with me. I want to figure out what I'm going to do in this episode. Hello, chicken! Hi, how's your day going, chicken? Awesome. Yeah, me too. Me too. A little bit of a rough morning, but it's it's definitely shaping up the moment that I get to play Minecraft. That's the good thing. It is an epic. It is legendary. What is hurting me? Hold on. Wh wait. Hold what? 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 Eel! Eel! Um, Indo says, it is an epic. It's legendary. Truly the best. I agree. Yeah, this cup is truly, truly the best. It looks like, it looks like a barrel. Barrels are cool. They're like, they're like medieval. Okay, um, I was slain by a freshwater eel, everyone. That's great. And freshwater eel is now my worst enemy. Worse than dragon. Okay. Hmm. If anybody sees Hickory the Hippogriff, please tell me. I'm just gonna go inside. Maybe I brought him in? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he glitched out of the game. That would be very un unfortunate. But I can't do anything about that, can I? And I don't have time to go back to an old backup. No, no, no. But what I want to do today is... Oh, the sad thing is I would have wanted to go exploring. I would have wanted to go flying somewhere and see where I could go. I have to put everything back into the little cubbies there. I want to see. I want to go to the animal area because I want to show you guys the animal farm. See, I don't like the whole look of fences and everything. And I feel like if I just see the blocky Minecraft animals all around amongst all these beautiful mods, it... I'm not a huge fan of the mixture, so I go and I hide my animals in this beautiful castle right here. So I have bees over here. Believe it or not, I've got bees. Little beehive. I forgot about that for a while. Rabbits, so that I can harvest rabbits' feet for taming griffins. <laughs> Lots of eggs. Oh, I got a rotten egg? Rotten eggs are good. Rotten eggs are good. I am going to tell you. Only in this, only in this mod, I believe, is rotten eggs good. Cows and sheep, because if I take a rotten egg, you know what I can do? I can go, washa, and I can hatch a baby, baby cockatrice, and it's so cute. He's so cute. Come here, come here, come here. Cockatrice is following. I need the cockatrice to follow me out here. That's right. Come here, baby. Come here, come here. And I'm going to put the cockatrice in the cockatrice pen. Indo says, hmm, maybe try finding another one and put it in a hole that is blocked up that has no way out. And if it disappears somehow, you know something is wrong. That's an interesting idea. I would if my, I don't know if I would call it OCD, if my um, little obsessive nature for everything to look pretty <laughs> um, happens. See, it would happen at such a random time that I wouldn't even know if... If it was my fault or not. <laughs> it might only happen like a year after. So I don't know if I would want like holes in the ground. But that is actually a really good idea. If I put him in a space. See they have a sit function. So they can't run away. They can't walk away. I'm going to have this one patrolling. So that he just can walk around. Act like a living, living creature here. And yeah. See what he does. Because he's going to grow up. And either he's going to be one of those like colorful cockatrices with a green tail and everything or he'll be one of these like snowy arctic looking ones that you saw in the corner either way beautiful creature love it uh, i always loved mythology as a kid i always loved the um concept art of cockatrices 
and I'm in love that there's a mod that has them, you know? Because that, that, that makes me really happy. <laughs> well, since I don't seem to have a... Wait, when did I die? Where did I die in the last video? Oh, I was in the nether! Oh, I know where my cockatrice is. Not my cockatrice, my grip, my hippogriff. I know where he is. I went to the nether in the last episode and I died in the nether. I went to the nether portal easily. I left him outside the nether portal. So I have to trek all the way into the fairy forest and explore that. Oh dear me. Well, I figured it out. It's not a glitch. It was my fault. I left it. I did die in the last episode, I believe, in the nether. That's why I spawned back home. And I remember that's why I was like, oh, forget it. Uh, don't be too upset about it. Let's try and plant the flame flowers, see if they'll grow on grass. And that's when I found out that the flower can set me on fire, you know? So I have to cross this field. I'm already halfway there. <laughs> so bear with me, you guys. I know it's a long journey. But that's what happens when you fly a creature that flies really fast over a long distance of time, or space, and location, and you lose them because you're Miss Willow and you die in the nether. That's what happens. <laughs> so, I am hungry and I don't have food on me. Isn't that wonderful? That is completely... That is completely awful. <laughs> so now I can't run. Now I just gotta like hobble around hobbled around, try and not get stolen my eggs from the fairies over there. You see those little sparkly things in the, in the, in the field? Those little sparkly things are epic. Um, Indo says the tiny dinosaur chicken looks so cute. I know, right? Honestly, it is so adorable. I love cockatrices. In, like, mythology, if they look at you and you look at their eyes, it turns you to stone. And they have a power in the ice and fire mod. I need I need food, so I'm just gonna pick some of these. I can't eat the ginger. I can eat the cantaloupe. Wait, I don't know if I have cantaloupe. So I'm gonna eat the arrowroot instead. Because <laughs> I want to take the cantaloupe home with me. What I'm gonna do- what in the world is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't- Excuse me? Hello? Oh! Oh, I- Oh, I punched it. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I don't- No, 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 no. Never mind. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Is that a, like a Willow the Wisp or something? Will of the Wisp or something? I don't know. Is that from Mousy's Mobs? That could definitely be from Mousy's But You know what? It's- It's entrancing me with its beautiful light and that's what's gonna kill me. A skeleton's gonna shoot me from behind and I don't want that. So, you know, I'm forgetting about the beautiful, creepy, jellyfish floaty bug thing. <laughs> Indo says, I've only seen it for four seconds, but I will protect the chicken with my life. <laughs> Wouldn't we all? Wouldn't we all? It's so precious. But there's more of them over there. What is, what in the world? Are they, are they leading me somewhere? Should I follow them? Um, speaking of mythology again, I don't think you follow them. I believe they lead you to a bad thing. Lead you down a bad path. Oh, wait, no, that's pixies. That's pixies. Never mind. Pixies just are sneaky. Fairies are rude. I just want to say, fairies are rude. I totally believe in fairies. Fairies are rude. I believe Ula's a fairy. But she's not rude. She's great. But she she, she has a sass about her. My, my moth. Um, I believe Ula's a fairy. She's probably a fairy. Little shapeshifter or something. She's way too special just to be a moth. You know, I make constant videos of her and this is day 38 of her being in a chrysalis. She's just late. She's totally fine. She's still getting patterns. She's forming in there, but very slowly. So just wish her luck because she is, she is my baby girl and I love her. And she is, she is my companion and friend and most amazing moth for me. I, I, I cannot wait for her to hatch. She's gonna be one of those big moths. Hawk moths. Um, oh wait, my hippogriff should be somewhere right here. That's the, that's the problem. I have to go somewhere. Uh, my dogs are there. My dogs will protect me. Oh, uh, this is a good excuse for me to bring the dog back, actually. Here he is! Here he is! Here he is! 
And will my dog teleport if I s slowly fly away? I believe so. Don't follow them, it's a trap maybe. Yeah, perhaps. They're like little bouncing jellyfish, they're kind of creepy. Um, yeah, I, I think in mythology it said something about that. Back in the books that I used to read, like, don't follow the, like, Will-o'-the-Wisp or something, or Wisps. I'm just gonna call them Wisps because I, I see different sources call them different things and I don't wanna... I wanna be politically correct about it because I know there's gonna be that one person in the chat someday who's just like, Miss Willow, it's this. And I'll be like, oops. <laughs> you know what I meant, though. But the forest is beautiful. The redwood forest is just epic. I want to bring some of those little trees back with me. So if I could take saplings one of these days back home, I could make, I could surround my forest with redwoods. All I have to do, I think, is put four in a row and they'll make the really big ones. Actually, I want to do that. Let me, let me go and land on one of these trees, grab some saplings. I like that idea a lot. I want these with me. I want the, oh. Yeah, I want these with me. Oh, don't fall off the tree. Just, just grab sap saplings. Saplings is what I want. Redwood sapling. That's it. I just want a bunch of them. I know I'm on the top of the tree in the middle of the night and it's like super creepy, but I, I, need, I need the sapling. And I do not want to accidentally hit the hippogriff. That would be so sad. I'm just getting sticks. Hmm. Oh, there's a sapling. Wait, no. No, no, no. That wasn't a sapling. Where was it? No, that's a, that was another stick. Oh, shoot. I want... I want eight sticks? No, not eight sticks. Sapling! I want a sapling. Oh, no, 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 no. Hickory, get out of the way. I do not want to whack you with a stick. That would be so sad. You wouldn't forgive me. Or maybe he would. He's a really, really nice hippogriff, but I would feel so bad forever. I would be in shame. I'm surprised we didn't see any mobs yet. They were all over the floor. Floor. <laughs> the ground. The grass. But they didn't seem to... I, I was too quick for them. I was too quick. Oh, there's a sapling! <gasps> Redwood sapling! Redwood sapling! I did it! Redwood sapling! It's beautiful. Oh, there's another one! I got two! Oh, they're like right in the center. They're right here. All the saplings that I want, they're right here. Oh, sorry, hippogriff. Sorry, hickory. I need four. I want to see if they grow. Because I have like so much bone meal. I have like infinite bone meal. I'm getting tons of sticks. I don't care about the sticks. One day I will. There's another sapling. <gasps> Three. I need one more. I just want to see if I can grow one of these big, cool trees. Because I would be happy. I would be very happy if I can do that. Okay, I know I'm just gonna have a big, big ol' stick sticking out of the ground. Oh, I just figured it out! You know, all those floating trees in my field, because of that forest fire that I can't really reach to cut down, I can just fly my hippogriff up and break them while I'm flying the hippogriff. I can do that, and then I can clean up the forest. I just need a really quick axe. I'll make a platinum axe or something, and I'll, I'll fix that up. It glitched my hippogriff into mid-flight. Alright. No, wandering, no, stay, stay, stay. I forgot a stick does that. Okay. A stick commands the hippogriff. I do not want him wandering. I'll never get him back. Alright, let's see. Does the music fit? It's almost sort of creepy. Look at my just row of creepy flat trees. <laughs> This is where I'm supposed to be. See, right here is all the floating trees that I was talking about. That is really awful. Really awful. It's an eyesore. And here's all my torches. I'm just gonna fly over here. Land in here. In the... That's a beautiful land. Okay. Well, I'm gonna skip the night. Get some stuff done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited about the- it's very calming for the ambience. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm very happy about that. I'm just gonna try and grow this. So I need bones. I need bone meal. Here's a bunch of bones. I can always kill skeletons, so I can- I can waste my bones on this. Oh! Hey! Get, hey, hey! Get out of here! Zombie! Zombie! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! That's the good 
thing about him getting into my house. At least my house has no roof. So he's burning up in the sun, boy. There's more bones. I want somebody to... <laughs> I should make a remix about that. Burning up in the sun, boy. Burning up in the sun. Skeletons burning. Burning up in the sun, boy. Gonna burn in the house. Burning up in the sun, boy. Skeleton down. I don't know. I'm being super cringe. But <laughs> I admit to that. Alright, time to grow a cool tree. This is what's gonna happen. I need a tree. I need a cool tree right here. Very cool tree. One, two, three, four. And then here's the magic. Here's the magic. I gotta bone meal it. Oh, gee! Oh, it did it! Oh, that's massive! Oh, it worked! Oh, look at that tree! That's epic. That's epic. And it has like big roots sticking down that I can climb on. It's kind of it makes it kind of realistic. Like, oh my god, that is glorious! I love the redwoods. Oh, holy! Now I just need to collect more redwood saplings. An epic tree. Yes, thank you. Oh, Object TV says hi. Hello. How are you doing? Here, I'm gonna put my sapling way up here so I don't forget it. I'm gonna put it right down there. Cantaloupe, lots of eggs, ginger root. Um, cantaloupe. I'm actually gonna expand my garden a tad bit, just a tad bit. I don't know if I have mustard seeds. Ginger, yep. I don't know if I have ginger. I don't remember seeing lots of ginger. I could grow a lot of stuff. Spice leaf. If I have six, 56 spice leaf, I definitely am growing it in the garden. Tomatoes I've seen. I know I have tomatoes. Mustard seeds and iffy. Kinaf. It's also a little bit iffy. Turnips, definitely. Rhubarb, probably not. I only have four of those. Winter squash, I have. Cashews, I'm waiting to put in a tree. Rhubarb, actually I have 31 rhubarb. I probably don't need more. Flax, yeah, I have 59. Barley, I only have one of. I could probably grow that. These are the burning blossoms that I was talking about. They, they sent me on fire. Onions, I'll grow some. Pineapples, I don't think I have a lot of them. Kiwis, I don't have a lot of them. Let's see, what else? I have juice. I can throw on some of the chickens. Here, let me throw on some of the chickens. Let me just get some of these things cooked up. Because I just I just don't want raw meat sitting around in my thing. You know how it is. Um I could grow some candle berries in that area. Because those are those are useful to some dragons. Uh, here's some raw beef. Oh, and raw pork chops. Cooked salmon, cooked cod. Oh, raw eel meat. Okay, I have lots of raw meat I gotta deal with. Yeah, raw beef. Okay. Lots of things. Eggs. Pineapples. I could I could bake the sweet potatoes. I could do that. I've roasted kohlrabi. I can do that apparently. I can roast the kohlrabi? That's cool. But I gotta roast some of these foods. Because they're just getting in the way of my inventory and I can't really use them much other than feeding like dogs. Alright, there we go. Alright, then I gotta put some pork chops on. Waiting for some of these to <laughs> finish cooking up. See, this is my epic little thing for the cooking. I can put a bunch of meats on and they will it will toss out meats at me. You see this? It's tossing meat. It's just... It's burping up all the meats, and I, that sounds disgusting, but <laughs> um, then I can climb up and gather the ones that are, get stuck on top. Eel meat, sweet potatoes, and then eggs. And there's some eggs. The fried eggs cook very quickly. You can eat them very quickly. Check this. One, two. Three and my health is full, or my <laughs> my hunger. Yep, the eggs are a very very good source of everything. I love the eggs. Eggs are the best food in this mod. The, it really helps. That's why you can see me have like a stack of eggs just all the time. 
it's it's burping out sweet potatoes. That's cute. Sometimes the fire burns me a little bit, but I try to be careful with it. There! And all our stuff is all our stuff is cooked up. See? See how effective that system is? Maybe you guys could try it. It's I like it a lot. There's all the steak, all the eggs, everything, chickens. I could probably take the steaks with me. And I also need a a till. Where's the till? Iron. I'll make an iron till. Where's the sticks? Did I do I still have the sticks? No, I don't. <laughs> I need to gather the sticks. 49 sticks. Okay. Time to just create some of the things that I need. Like an iron till. Iron hoe. Perfect. Perfect. Honeycomb? No, I'm growing the things. I don't need to create stuff out of habit. <laughs> But here, I'm just gonna fly my hippogriff over there, make it really quick. See how very quick it is to travel with one of these guys? It's hard to tame them, though. But it's definitely worth it. Beautiful sunny field here. But what I need to do is create a big garden. And I need all these things in the inventory. Cantaloupe. Onion. 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 Rhubarb. Just expanding my garden so I have lots of resources. Barley. Mustard seeds. And yeah, the ground dries up quick, but with the mod it doesn't have- I think with Pam's Harvest Craft you don't actually need a water source. You just have to be quick to plant it. That I really like. Kiwis. Ginger, and then I have some other things. I'm working in the shape of a square here. Tomatillo. There we go. Beautiful big garden. Lots of stuff. I should collect the berries because I want to... I want to harvest... I can just make a bunch of stuff and turn the rest that I don't need into bone meal. Because I have a composter right there, and, right then and there with me. So I can just turn everything that I don't need into bone meal. That'll also be useful for my redwood trees. I want the place to be aesthetic. Like a s fantasy storybook, storybook land. <laughs> Lots of things. I need all the berries. Huckleberries, strawberries. Sweet berries won't work for feeding the bunnies, I think. But everything else should. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set aside the berries. I'm gonna... Coffee beans. Where are those coffee beans? I could use those to create things. Cranberries. Candleberries. I'll just create what I can with everything. I can make a bunch of bread. I can make lots of bread. Seven bread. Bunch of honeycombs. Anyway, honeycomb block. <laughs> Lots of string. Kenaf can make string. Paper. I can turn pineapples into paper, apparently. Miss Miller doesn't seem to have much redstone knowledge. Oh, you are questioning my ability with the redstone? Oh, they're questioning my abilities with redstone. Just because I don't use redstone doesn't mean I don't know it. Actually, I don't know much. <laughs> I'm just being funny. But I don't like knowing a lot because I'm not interested in the modern looking things. I don't like that I have to hide redstone in walls and stuff to make it look good. Because I don't like the look of stuff. Eventually I might put light switches and stuff, but I don't like the look. And I'm gonna be totally honest, I don't- I hate the look of big blocks of machinery with hoppers and stuff. Doing th I like doing things by hand. If it was up to me, this would be more of a farming game where you had to wait and till the soil and water the crops with a, um, oh no, <laughs> with a, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, oh no, why am I holding string? Stop, 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 stop. Strawberries. I am making mistakes. <laughs> But you know, I think you know what I mean. I don't mean that in a mean sense. I mean that's not my style and I it's an eyesore to me to look at. And I'm being completely honest. Not in a mean way, but just an honest way. String farming. <laughs> you saw that? You guys saw that? Oh my gosh. 
Let me see what else I can make. More paper? There's a spice leaf in the paper, apparently. I'm just gonna collect more of the things. Because if I hang around near the farm, I'm within quarters of them growing. So I can actually grow the crops because they're out of render distance when I'm at home. So nothing really grows unless I'm standing here, sadly. Or it grows super slowly. I can make lots of bread. Yeah, I made nine bread. That's okay. <laughs> oats. Can I make more bread? I can make more bread. Just got a lot of oats. Ten bread. It's like no, little to no fall damage, it seems, which is really cool. You know what? I want him in my house. Forget it. He's coming in my house. He deserves to be warm. All right, I'm gonna skip the night. <laughs> he reminds me of my moths. I have moths. I'm looking at them right now. You know, woolly bears turn into moths. For all the people who don't like moths but love woolly bears in the fall, they all turn into moths. But they're really pretty moths. Ah! 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 Zamboozles! Ah! There's many zamboozles. Let's close the door. Okay. <laughs> I think far farming my hands than just pushing a button in a machine doing it for you. you. You mean you like farming by hand? Or you prefer the machine? Because the machine seems great. Except the look of redstone bothers me. I don't like the amount of mechanics that go along with it. I can learn it, but I'm not a big fan of how things work. Oh, you're, you prefer farming by hand. I agree. That's, I, I agree with that. I do. It's, there's something that I think feels more rewarding in a sense. I'm going to expand my sugarcane farm while I'm at it. <laughs> Whee! It has a different feel to it. I don't know how to explain. I totally understand.